Hey, Keith Van Wimmer here, Van Tech Consulting. Um, got quite a few little projects going on here in the uh, in the shop, and uh, thought we'd uh, share one with you. We're going to start. Uh, we'll we'll create a kit for this if uh, if anybody wants to do this um, on their equipment. Um, so we're getting prepared to do a series of videos on uh, advanced um, power meter light source and kind of a tutorial on lasers and spot size and line width and all kinds of cool stuff on that so that we can better understand you know how to test the fiber. Um, in preparation, I was getting out my, my equipment. I have a uh, T-Bird 2000 here. And, you know, my uh, OLP82P, my, my power meter. And uh, all of my equipment is these Quick Connect SC connectors. Um, and uh, what's happening is, you know, through training and use and things like this, these, these have gotten broken. And so I was gonna start rebuilding these. And um, again, we'll have another video on how to rebuild those and how to, uh, um, create the, uh, the inserts. Um, so I was trying to standardize. I'm trying to standardize everything. So my light source has an LC connector. So just a, a little connector, a lucent connector, whatever you want to call them. And uh, I really want to have an SC on there. And again, I, I like the quick connects or the, uh, the changeable ones. So um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to go ahead and do a kit so again, we're gonna we're gonna create a kit for this, but how to change these out and modify them into a um, adapter for these quick connects. So the first thing you gotta do um, is open this meter up, and this uses a little uh, little torque. So that's what we have here. I've already taken out three of the screws. So um, now bear in mind that. Uh, while we're showing you how to do this, we assume no responsibility if you uh, decide to open this up and, you know, trash your equipment. Um, so again, just, you know, exercise some caution. If you, uh, if you don't want to do this yourself, go ahead and drop us a line and uh, we'll uh, help you through or talk about uh, doing the, you know, send us the, the uh, device and we'll go ahead and do the... Uh, do the modification for you, test it, and then send it on back to you for a fee, of course. Um, so we have uh, little torque screws in here. So these little guys, like little pan head guys, uh, torques. So get yourself the small torque screwdriver. Um, again, we're dealing with everything in this is plastic, so you want to make sure that uh, that you're being careful here. Um, so once this is done, we've already pulled the batteries, obviously. We're just going to go ahead and uh, this lifts off. Okay, so take your dust cover out, and this has a battery cable that runs down right here. That is a uh, quick connect. You can pop that off if you want, or you can just lay this on here. So here's the cautionary note as we as we start looking at the internals of this. Um, this is a little uh, coil of fiber here that's on the lasers. So we have our two lasers, our 1310 and our 1550 lasers. They come up to an FC connector. So we're not doing anything to the internals. We're merely going to remove this FC connector. So just open that up. And we're going to take out this plate. Now this is a metal plate. Um, we did ours in uh, a tough PVA or a tough uh, PLA which is uh, the 3D printed one so that it's easier to uh, produce. You can do this. You can go ahead and remove this um, and put the base plate on. If you do that, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this, uh, this new base plate on, this Quick Connect base plate. Um, so we have these in stock. If you want to buy these, uh, give us a holler. They're like 40 bucks, $45 each. Um, so... And if you don't want to put plastic in, if you don't want to do this with the plastic, give us a holler because um, we have a template and we can go ahead and set it up and put it on the vertical mill and actually uh, pretty accurately do the holes. If you look at this, these holes 
are pretty darn close to the to the circle or to the to the hole here. All right, so there's not a lot of meat there. So this is this is uh, actually going to use the screws that are in this to hold our uh, our plate in. Um, so just take the screws out. If you order a kit from us, you'll get the base plate, this plate, as well as um, some new screws, a couple screws. So basically, you can just take this and set this aside and keep it for future if you want to change this back to LC. So for this one, we're just going to reuse these screws. So real simple, just take those out. Um, and that's the only reason I'm taking those out is we're reusing them. So we're going to set that aside. This guy here, so it has a nice texture on it, kind of carbon fiber-ish. You can set this up. Um, it's going to be set so that the handle is going to be whichever side you want it on. So just make sure that you, you know, if you want the bail on that side, set your pins um, in the appropriate fashion. So this, this plate does have a, um, a curve to it, and the curve will go up. In the, in the aspect that we're in now with the battery compartment up, this curve is going to go facing towards the back. So again, pay attention to you know whatever aspect you want. It doesn't matter the operation. It's just for uh, personal preference. So again, we're going to go ahead and reuse these screws. So we're going to pop these in. And uh, since we are screwing into uh, plastic, you want to be um, kind of uh, don't over tighten. Go. So just you just want to snug these down. I mean, this is not you don't need 60 pounds of torque on it. So just give that a little tighten up, line up the holes, and then go diagonally across here to the other one. And go ahead and tighten that up. Now the first time you do this, it may be a little um maybe a little snug because you're you're actually going to be using these machine screws to cut threads. Again, if you want to if you want to use this as a template and overlay that onto the metal and drill these out, these are um, I believe they're uh, two millimeter uh, 0 0.05 thread pitch on these. So you'd have to have the appropriate drill bit. Um, you'd have to align this up pretty precisely um, and then have a, a 0 0.05 a 0.5 millimeter tap to uh, to tap those out. Again, that's metal there. So now that we have this, all we got to do is pop this back in. Now, keep in mind that there's a key on this. If you look right, if you can see, we'll zoom in here. You can see there's a key on there, and that's going to go and align with the keyway on this guy. All right, there's a couple different keyways there, so. Um, just align that. Now when you when you are doing this, if you don't have it aligned like what I have, as easy as that was, and you need to turn, don't turn this, turn this guy, right? And so, you know, turn him to get him aligned, and then once you have him, turn him back. What we're trying to avoid there is stressing this fiber. Again, if you break this, um, you're pretty much out of luck there. So, Snug that down. It doesn't have to be, uh, again, 60 pounds or anything. It just has to be snug. So the other cautionary note here um, is watch your fiber. So again, if you pinch this or damage it in any way, shape, or form, you're kind of hosed. All right. So just make sure that that's not anywhere that's uh, going to get pinched. We're looking for to make sure that we don't have any excessive bends in here because a light source with a macro bend in it would be high loss. And then just drop your cover back on. Now it's going to fit in a little groove down there. And once that's on there, don't forget to put this back on. Um, so the little laser label faces down. There's a little hole up here. Bada bing, bada boom. That's that. Before you go squeezing this down, make sure on the sides that we don't have any fiber hanging out there. All right. And then screws back in. So I won't pain you with doing all of them. You know how to do this. So, all right. So we're on the last screw. So again, um, as you do this, just make sure that you don't over tighten these. They don't. Uh, 
you know, you don't need a half inch torque wrench or anything like that. You just uh, snug them down and make sure that they're all snug, everything's seated. And that's that. All right, so now these guys will go in, pop that on, open up the bale, just pop that on and close it. We now have a SC Quick Connect um, adapter on there. And so we can change this out. You can put an SC on there if you want, or already has an SC. Um, you can do an FC on here. They're, they have all kinds of different ones, STs, things like that. So just depending on your application. So again, uh, now the final check here is we'll go ahead and put this in. Close the back door. And we're launching out at seven. All right, so everything looks like it's working well. Um, we'll hook this up to the, uh, to the meter and see how it's doing. I'm going to test it with the VFL first, make sure that we actually have uh, light coming through it. That looks good to me. Okay, so proceed onward and upward. All right, we're back to uh, doing the inspection. Again, kind of looks like it's got a fingerprint on it. So these jumpers are coming out of our out of our box of. Uh, I don't want to put a new test jumper on, so they're coming out of the box of uh, fiber splicing pigtails and things like that. Let's go ahead and uh, plug this in. And we'll go ahead and turn the laser on, pop back over to our, um, to our power meter. So again, this, this says that we're launching out at, at a minus 7 dBm. So if you look down here, we're at 1550, neg 7 dBm. So uh, decibels reference to one milliwatt, and up here we're getting a neg 7.52. So again, we have up to half a dB um, per mated pair. So, you know, we got connector and connector. So again, that's within specification as far as, uh, as, far as we're concerned. So I'm good with that. Everything's working and functioning on the, on the meter as it should be. Um, so we're good. Anyway, I hope that helps. Um, again, if you want to, uh, to get this modification or do this modification, um, we'll be selling a, uh, a kit where you get the base plate. Um, you can order an adapter with it if you want, or if you have one that's, uh, that's hanging around that's not being used, you can use that. Um, and then just pop it in. So you can see it only takes a couple of minutes when you're not doing a video, okay? So um, that's it. If you have any questions, um, give us a call. Anyway, hope that helps. Um, check our website for more information on this or drop us a line on the info. You know, give us a contact form and uh, give us a question. Ask, give us a comment. Let us know uh, if you need more information on this. All right. So again, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. This is Keith Van Tech Consulting. Watch for more videos coming up on advanced uh, power meter use and testing. And uh, we'll see you soon.